Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. For 140 years, the people of Eastern Avenue Christian Reformed Church have let the peace of Christ rule in their hearts. And as one body, we have much for which to be thankful. We're thankful for the brothers and sisters in our community, both inside and outside these walls. At Eastern Avenue, we belong not merely to a local church, but to a people. The story of our church is a story of this neighborhood. It's a tale not just about a physical structure, but of a people dedicated to following the gospel and using that message to make their corner of the world a better place. Today, God is guiding us as we write our own story. As we seek to understand His plans for the next generation, God calls us to embrace where we are, celebrate where we've been, and prepare for where we hope to be. In 1879, 80 families of Dutch immigrants split from their church and founded the East Street True Holland Reformed Church right in their own backyards. The sermon that first Sunday was titled, Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God. 140 years later, God's people still gather at the corner of Eastern and Logan seeking God's kingdom. The church grew and in 1887 a new building was erected. The congregation heard a message that encouraged them to enlarge the place of thy tent. The evolution of this place from a little white church to the stately structure we know today is a fulfillment of that mandate. Reflecting on Eastern's history, we're compelled to carry on the traditions of those who came before us. When Eastern Avenue began, it was truly a neighborhood church. Over time, that neighborhood changed and when we had an opportunity in the 60s to relocate, we chose to stay. That decision helped ignite a new passion for engaging our local community that remains today. Eastern Avenue's history is intertwined with the progress of our city and the progress of our faith. Those that came before us made bold decisions, fought for what they believed, and above all else, let Christ's light shine for all to see. The members of our community know that our doors can always be approached without fear of rejection. Our congregation and our neighbors are a group of people who share a desire to build relationships with each other and with God. That desire drives us to reach out in many ways. For 40 years, it's been our mission to ensure that no one in our community goes hungry and food won't go to waste. We find the youth who need a helping hand and offer them mentorships. We share God's word to our forgotten brothers and sisters in jail. The leaders of tomorrow are taught the value of shared responsibility and service. We break down barriers so that all are free to experience God's grace. And it was our own congregation that helped create the community foundations that are leading the way to rebuild our neighborhood and watch it thrive. Those efforts of outreach aren't possible without the Spirit of God working through our members. We worship together, we share the bread and cup together, and nurture each other as we all discover how God's Word will lead us on our own paths. The spiritual formation of everyone, young and old, is fundamental to who we are. The music, the fellowship, the fun, the praise, all of it is designed to help us grow in our knowledge of God. And the outward love we show requires the development of peace within. All of it happens right here at the same spot we've called home since 1879. What's in store for the next 140 years? We know God holds the future, but we also know change is inevitable. The changes we experience today can come from the world outside or within. In either event, we look to God to be our guide. This place has served as a cornerstone in a community that looks vastly different than it did when Dutch immigrants walked here to worship every Sunday. How do we continue to build our church so that many more will gather here for years to come? How do we adapt to that change while still carrying on our mission? 
Eastern Avenue's roots continue to grow both physically and spiritually. God has called us to this place, and we believe that God has plans for us here with this church as our anchor. In 1887, we were urged to enlarge the place of thy tent. Let's keep working toward that together. We celebrate the past while preparing for the future. The story of our heritage includes us all. Our actions and faith, right here in the present, will become a part of the same evolving legacy. We pray that Christ's peace continues to rule in the hearts of all who come to Eastern Avenue Christian Reformed Church.